Dear friends and followers, today I'm going to be asking another question which was sent in by an Instagram follower of mine named Speedbird Spotter. Joe, why do pilots have their own alphabet? That's a great question, so let's get started. <laughs> I'm very sure you've all heard the expression Alpha Team or Delta Force in some action movie, but did you ever wonder why they actually call it Alpha or Delta? Back in the early days of aviation, radio communication wasn't as clear as it is today. Antennas picked up all sorts of static noises which made it difficult to understand the transmitter on the receiving end. So in the 1950s, the ICAO, the International Civil Aviation Organization, developed a so-called spelling alphabet or phonetic alphabet. The whole idea of developing this alphabet was to reduce misunderstandings while communicating via radio and to standardize one spelling alphabet for the entire aviation industry at the time. The final choice of code words for the letters of the alphabet was made after a hundreds of thousands comprehension tests involving many different nationalities to agree on 26 code words for the 26 letters in the alphabet which are the le most least similar to each other when being pronounced. I'll give you an example. When you transmit a message containing letters and numbers, you use the spelling alphabet to avoid confusion because many letters sound very similar. For example, the letter M and N or B and D. If you were to have to read back this clearance, proceed to beacon M U N, you could mistake the M for the letter N, so therefore the air, air traffic controller will say proceed to beacon Mike Uniform November <laughs> to minimize the chance of misunderstanding. Similar solution with numbers. For example, the air traffic controllers very often give you clearances like Speedbird 125 Hotel, Climb Level 250, Free Speed. Now you could mix up the free with the English number three. So therefore, the number three is pronounced as tree, like the English word for tree. <laughs> Same goes for number nine. Nine sounds like the German word nine, <laughs> which means no, and therefore is pronounced number nine as niner. Also important, numbers are always pronounced separately. For example, climb flight level 390 instead of climb level 390. <laughs> okay. Of course, exceptions prove the rule. For example, flight level 100, 200, 300 and so far are pronounced flight level 100, 200, 300. And airline call signs can be EasyJet 100 X-ray or Lufthansa 662. I hope I was able to answer this aviation related question for you. I've uploaded another video where you can practice the spelling alphabet with pictures relating to the coded letter. Make sure to check it out. <laughs> and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe my channel and so you don't miss future videos like this. All the best, your Captain Joe.